Hello, podcast listeners. If you're like me, you want to hear the full story of what happens to Mars Patel and his friends. Find out how the story unfolds, as well as the gripping conclusion with Pinna. What's Pinna? Well, it's the only place to stream new episodes of Mars Patel Season 3, hear all of Season 2, as well as tons of other awesome podcasts, music, and audiobooks. Find your next favorite audio show on Pinna. That's P-I-N-N-A. Try Pinna free for 30 days by visiting the App Store today. Hey there, it's Chris Terry, one of the co-creators of Mars Patel. We're so excited to bring you the amazing conclusion of the Mars Patel story. And we wanted to let you know that Season 3 would not have been made without the support of our friends at Pinna. So please, if you want to stream the entire season, head over to Pinna.fm and start listening today. If you'd like to own a piece of the show forever, we've made the entire series available on an amazing box set of CDs. You can buy the entire series or just Season 3 by itself. Check the show notes for details or visit MarsPatel.com. We hope you enjoy the thrilling conclusion of Mars Patel, and thank you so much for sticking with us. And now, on with the show. Hello, podcast listeners. Oliver Pruitt here. Tired of listening to Mars Patel over the internet? Well, now you don't have to. You can buy the entire CD set of seasons one, two, and three. The merchandise shop is open at MarsPatel.com. T-shirts, mugs, we accept Martian money. Uh, actually, I don't know. Hmm? What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, actually, we don't accept Martian money. We accept Earth money. Boring! Go to MarsPatel.com. You can listen to me forever. What scares you, podcast listeners? Maybe you're afraid of heights, or clowns, or maybe you're afraid of the dark. After all, you never know what might be lurking in the dark. Quiet! I'm recording the opening. That's better. Mars Patel and his friends have again found themselves in the pitch black forest of my island. But what they didn't find is my school, Pruitt Prep. Where is it, you might ask? It must exist. It has a website. Enough said about that. Time to drop you back on Gale Island as Mars, Caddy, JP, and Toothpick make their way to the beach. Back through the dark woods. Schools don't just disappear. I used to think people didn't just disappear either, JP. Maybe we're on the wrong part of the island. I followed the school maps. Pruitt Prep is just through the Meridani Forest in the middle of the Amazonas Planitia Field. Or it's supposed to be. Except all that's in the middle of the Amazoni Platoni whatever is a big empty nothing. There's got to be an explanation. Yeah, like what if the school was never there in the first place? You mean it's a fake location? Or a fake school. I agree with you, Mars. I didn't say anything. You didn't? Oh, sorry. Of course there's a school. We've seen all the YouTube videos. Videos can be faked. Just look at the moon landing. What about the picture of the president coming out of the helicopter to greet Oliver Pruitt? Yeah, politicians never lie. Pruitt Prep exists. Okay, so maybe the school just flew away. No one is saying that, JP. But Oliver Pruitt is one of the richest people on Earth. Why would he invent a fake school? Why would he take our friends? We don't know that he took Aurora and Jonas. The more we know, the less we know. Come on, the beach is through this clearing. Um, Mars? Where did you park the boat? On the beach, right over... Am I missing it somehow? The boat is gone. I can confirm that. Helpful as always, Toothpick. We're not, Mars. We're not what? You were wondering how we're getting off the island without a boat? We're not. Hey, Aurora. 
I don't know what to say. We're here and you're not. Nothing is here. And now we're stuck. Mars out? Are we sure this is the spot? I constructed a marker where we entered the jungle. First rule of orienteering. Whenever navigating unfamiliar territory... Maybe the tide came up and washed the boat away. A uh, toothpick? What size boots do you wear? I wear Crocs so my feet can breathe. You know that. Yeah, well, someone left a big scary boot print next to your fancy stone marker. Right before he stole our boat. But there's no one else in the island. As far as we know. We all heard that, right? What was that thing? Come on, come on. JP, don't bother with the phone. There's no signal here. I'd give anything for one little bar. The ferry comes in the morning, right? How do we know that's not a fake, too? We saw it on the docks. So let's get through the night, and we'll figure it out in the morning. I can go with you, Mars. What? You said you wanted to get wood to build a fire. I didn't say that, but it's a solid idea. Pick, can you work on a shelter? I can construct a Native American gawa if someone helps me lift the big branches. How do you know how to do that? I just do. It pops into my brain. I'll help you with whatever you just said. Okay. We'll be back here by the marker. I think over there will be better. Better than what? Than on the beach where you were going to look for firewood. How did you know I was going to look over there? Is it me, or is it getting colder? Like you said, we just have to make it through the night. We'll find the ferry, take our gift tests, serve our detentions, everything will be back to normal. Except, Except Aurora, Aurora and, and Jonas, Jonas will still be missing. What's going on, Caddy? I don't know. Since we've been on the island, I've started to hear things. What kind of things? Like, from inside your head. JP and toothpicks, too. You always know what I'm feeling. Not like this. It's so clear. Like your thoughts are in my head. If you can read my mind, what am I thinking right now? You're thinking this is all your fault. But it's not. We all agreed to come here together. How did you do that? Do it again. Wait, no, don't. It's too freaky. Believe me, it's freakier for me. I'm hearing everything, and I can't shut it off. Everything? Mars. What? If you wanted to ask me to the dance, you should have just done it. I don't know why that crossed my mind just now. Sorry. Forget it. What you think is your business. I'll try not to listen. Would you want to go to the dance with me? I mean, if we ever get off this island. Are you only asking me because I read your thoughts? I'm not really sure how to answer that. Yes. Okay, yes, I would love to go to the dance with you. And yes, of course I'm thinking it too. Thinking what? That we could be the next ones to disappear. One more loop and then I can tie it off. You've been working on that knot for ten minutes, Toothpick. Hurry or I'm going to drop this tree trunk on your head. My fingers are freezing. Okay, let it go. It's actually pretty good. This structure is sufficient to insulate us against the cold for at least one night. If I could just stop shivering. Here, take my sweatshirt. I run hot anyway. Okay. Take my scarf. That's all right, I'm good. I insist. Since when do you know so much about camping? It's hard to explain, but being here on this island makes my head clearer. The island is making you smarter? I'd have to take an IQ test to confirm it. Maybe I should walk into the woods and see if- No! You're not walking away again. You don't know how much you scared us when you went missing in the woods before. You were worried you'd get lost without my map. No, Pick. We were worried about you. Oh. You worry about me a lot. That's why you start fights whenever anyone says something mean to me. I just don't like it. 
I can handle myself, you know. I know you can. Especially now that you're a super genius. Thank you. For worrying. Anytime. Hey guys, we found some wood. I hope someone knows how to make a fire before we turn into Slurpees. Brainy, I created that fire starter kit over there. It's just a tinder nest and a simple hand bow. We can use the wood Caddy is carrying as kindling once someone burns a hole in the fireboard. JP? Easy peasy. I stuffed a piece of my pajama sleeve into the borehole as an accelerator. Be careful, it's highly flammable. It's smoking. Keep going. Is this supposed to be that much smoke? It smells like gas. Fire, JP, your scarf is on fire! Take it off! <laughs> drop and roll, drop and roll! <laughs> JP, are you okay? Hold still. It's okay, Caddy. Your neck! Relax, guys, fire's out. That's impossible. There's no mark on your neck. Not even a scratch. The fire didn't burn you at all. You know, some of us go through life without discovering what makes ourselves special. But in fact, all of us are special somehow. Maybe you're an excellent chess player. Or maybe you know how to extract water from ancient underground icebergs. Point is, it's up to you to discover exactly what your talent is. Because who knows? I might very well put it to use at Pruitt Prep one day. That doesn't mean you can simply show up in the middle of the night and expect to be admitted as Mars and his friends did. After all, Pruitt Prep itself is a very special place, and teachers and students don't find me. I find them. You can let go, Mars. I'm fine. Stop looking at my neck. You're on fire. We all saw it. Told you, I run hot. That flame was over 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 585 degrees Celsius. You can't be fine. But she is, right? Did you feel it burn? For a second, but then it stopped and kind of tickled. You got set on fire and it tickled? I'm going to hit you with a stick, JP. Sure. Toothpick! I'm testing her, Mars. Did that hurt? Nah. I could feel it fine. But like a tap. You're immune to moderate force. Maybe it's the island. Like how it grew Toothpick's brain. Toothpick? I'm super smart now. Something is going on with Caddy too. She can read our thoughts like for real. It's changing all of us. It's taking the things we're good at and supersizing them. What about you, Mars? Can you fly or shoot lasers from your eyeballs or something? No, I'm just me. Except colder. I thought you didn't have any bars. I do now. What's the text say? You're not alone. From somebody named L.I.L. What's that sound? It's a boat. It's coming toward us. Hand me a stick. Stay inside the shelter, guys. There's one person. Can you hear what he's thinking? No, it's too... Cluttered. Mars, Caddy, Toothpick, JP. It's Mr. Q. Mr. Q. I'm glad I found you. Hop in, let's get you out of here before you freeze. Excellent timing. You're a lifesaver. Just doing my thing. Caddy, give me your hand. Thank you. Okay, are we ready? Something wrong, Mars? How do you know where to find us? After I ran into you in the hall, I had a feeling you were up to something. You trust me, don't you? Don't you? Thank you.
goodness, Mr. Q showed up when he did. Now Mars and his friends will be back at school to take their gift tests. Do you like tests? If you'd like to take mine, visit PruittPrep.com. I guarantee it won't be like any test you've taken before. Signing off, this is Oliver Pruitt. Oh, and don't forget to review me on iTunes. To the stars. Hey there, it's Chris Terry. Are you a fan of the shows we make here at Gen Z Media? If so, then head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash gzm shows and become a Gen Z superfan. For only $5 a month, you get access to shows we're working on months before they're released, behind the scenes interviews with producers and cast members, scripts for six minutes, Mars Patel, and so much more. It's a great way to show your support and get access to a ton of exclusive Gen Z content. Sign up at patreon.com slash gzm shows. That's p a t r e o n dot com slash gzm shows. And thanks for your support. Give me a Z. Best robot ever dot com. From PRX.